Hi everyone, this is Daron and today I'm going to show you uh, an excellent excellent game called Medici vs Troji. Uh, this game is designed by Rainer Kinesia, one of my uh, favorite designer of all times and it's a only two player game. It takes about 30 minutes which is about right, age 10 and up. Um, I haven't played it with uh, 10 years old yet but uh, it's that easy that I think anybody can probably pick it up uh, from that age and up. Alright, so in this game there's two families, Medici and Strozzi, that basically um, um, are fighting quote unquote on, on over commodities, uh, over money, merchandise, uh, and at the end of the game whomever gains the most money obviously wins the game. The game um, spans over three rounds where in the first round the Medici side player begins the game uh, the round which is represented by blue ships and then the second and the third round um, the Strozzi uh, family begins that player will begin now what it is about the theme of the game is that there are three harbors here and every family every player has three ships um, during the course of the game you will reveal merchandise tiles where everybody is going to have the uh, option to bid on and pay money. They start with 300 coins, bid the money, and, um, and win the merchandise. Now, point-wise, these are the coins that are left in your stack at the end of the game. That's your uh, victory uh, uh, condition, basically. So there are merchandise tiles here, and I'll, ex and I'll demonstrate the game um, in just a second, explaining exactly how it works. But in each harbor here, there are several merchandise. For example, in this harbor, there are two merchandise types. Um, in this harbor, there are three, as well as in this one. In the middle here, we place what's called the monopoly uh, markers. Um, they're in the middle at the moment, so nobody has a monopoly on certain merchandise. Having monopoly on certain merchandise um, uh, rewards you with the extra coins, extra points, uh, if you want to call it. And during the course of the game, depends on the outcome of how you selected and assigned merchandise to each harbor, the um, uh, monopoly marker will go up or down towards you or towards the uh, other um, uh, player, the opponent. And according to that, um, you'll gain bonus points. And let's just start by just demonstrating a game. So, the Medici begins, he reveals one merchandise. Um, it's kind of like, may not be hard to tell, but this merchandise matches this symbol that should be also here. And that's it. Now, each tile has a number next to it, which I'll explain in a moment what it is but this one has number three. Now, I have the option to bid it out to the other player or keep on taking one more tiles. There is a limit though. I can keep on revealing tiles only as many as I could fit on one ship, which in this case there's three, there's four or five, so I can keep on going to five. If at any point, let's say I fill up the three, or let's just say five, and I'll explain in a second what that means. But once this ship is full or has some merchandise on it, um, I can no longer take out five. I can take up to four, three. So like I said, I can either stop now and bid it out, or I can keep taking out tiles. I'll keep on taking another tile. All right, so this, this merchandise now. These two uh, merchandise tiles are actually... Um, both of them are available uh, uh, to score on this harbor, so that might be a good idea to actually stop and auction that out. Over the course of the game, um, when you gain more experience, you'll get an idea of when you would want to keep on going, when to stop, strategize, etc. Now, um, I would like to keep on going. I'll go with another one. Okay, and I got a completely different uh, type of merchandise. At this point, I'll, I decide to stop, and I'm going to auction it out and I'm basically telling the other player that um, I'm gonna auction it out for let's say 50 coins everybody starts with 300 I'm gonna start with 50 coins the other player decides whether he wanna, would like to uh, get this merchandise uh, uh, tokens for 50 or pass if they pass I have to pay for that uh, amount and take it and sign it to uh, one of my ships now let's imagine that um, Astrozi passes and 
Medici decide, oh, has to take it, he pays 50 to the bank, he takes it and then he assigns it to one of the, your ships. Now, I could in theory assign it to this ship, but I'm wasting a space, I cannot add to it afterwards. Once I assign one, if there was an auction on one only, if I assign it here, I can no longer add to this ship. So I would add these to the three, and as soon as I've done that, I have to assign it to one of the harbors, which in this case would be this one. All right? Now, the next player to go would be the player who actually won the auction, which will be the Medici. So Medici will keep on going. I'll keep on going. This is for, uh, I don't know if it's possible to see. I cannot really focus on that, but this is gold. This is not an actual merchandise. There's no value in harbors in it. It's kind of like... Uh, um, it's holding just a space uh, in the auction in the ship. Um, took another tile out, and then let's say there's another tile. All right, so I'm auctioning it for, and again, the more you play, you'll get a better idea on if this is worth for you and how much to auction it out. And let's say I, I'll say 30. And the Strozzi actually agrees to that, takes it, and Let's not think about it too much, but the red one is there. He'll go on this one and apply it to the middle since the uh, harbor in the middle has a couple of those uh, merchandises. Now, let's not uh, keep going with the, with the bidding process. Let's just assign, even randomly in this case, just for the sake of explaining the game. Let's say this one has only three. He will go in the middle. This one here will have four of some sort, and he will go, where will he go? He will go right here, this one. Now the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to explain the uh, scoring condition, how this works, which is important for understanding the game. This will go right here, and the last one, let's go right there. Oops, right here, that's fine there, and he will go here. Now, I can almost never remember the exact order of how you score things, so I'm briefly looking at the uh, rule here, but, okay, so first thing first, you compare total value of merchandise that each ship brought into the harbor and that would apply only to the type of merchandise at each harbor if one of the merchandise here uh, for example this one doesn't have any type of merchandise into this harbor I don't gain any um, any coins so the first step is comparing values of merchandise that applies to a certain harbor and you gain points by doing that so for example I have the blue tile here with the number four so I have four of that value um, the other player also has four uh, of the same value which I believe that in, if there's a tie um, there's no payout um, whomever has the more value gains 20 coins from um, from the bank. Let's move to the next tile. This one does not have that type on this harbor. This one we have, it has a 3. However, the other guy has a 4. So, this guy, Stroji, gains 20. We're moving to the next harbor. I have 3 of this type. This guy does not have. I take a 20. We move forward, I have a 4 and a 0, that's 4, 4, no payout on that. We move to the next one, which I have 1, I have 3 total of one type, while the other one has 4, and Stroji gains 20. Stroji gains 20, alright, we move into the next one, uh, this one has a 0. Well, that one has six. My cat is attacking me. It's interested in the game. Uh, let's see what else. This one has one. It gains 20. Now, after this phase is done, we're checking the majority. Majority of merchandise, which means according to the tiles. And we're moving them accordingly. 
Now I have one on the blue. Well, this guy has two. So let's go the Medici moves one according to this merchandise. However, the next one moves two. We're moving to the next merchandise. Oops, sorry, I moved the wrong one. The next merchandise, I have one here. I move towards me there. And the other player also has one that goes back to the neutral point. Nobody gains majority there. However, with this majority, uh, let me just check in the rules again. Uh, after just one up the red, I receive a payout of 10. I receive 10 because I have majority in one of the merchandise. We move into the next one. Now, there's two tiles here. Normally, I would move two towards me. However, one of the tiles has zero. That zero tells you that you, that you are entitled to move the marker two spots. Zero has that much of a benefit. So in this case, I would move three, while the other person will push it to move backwards or towards him. Let's move uh, to the next uh, merchandise. This one has one, while the other one doesn't have any. So I get two majorities here. That means I gain 20 total. All right. The last one, I have two for this one. This guy goes back. Nothing on the treasure. I have a red one I go down. And I have a zero on this one with the fur. I move two. This guy has two that goes back. Um, and let's see. Oh, this one already calculated. And I get 20 more points on that one. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so after scoring, as you can see here, there has been scoring in the form of, of, of coins. If any marker has reached one of these fields, 10 or 20, that would hint that that player received that much more bonus. Alright, so after this round is over, what you would do, on the second round, you pick up all the tiles, reshuffle them back into uh, reshuffle them back into the bag and then you start over again but this time the Strozzi family begins the only difference is that the majority markers do not move so as you might guess um, the outcome of the second round and the third might be um, much different than it is now and that's really what the game is all about whoever has majority in coins or victory points at the end of the game um, wins the game. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you understand this game and decide whether you uh, want to purchase it or not. Remember, sharing is caring and I would appreciate if you can like the video. Thank you for watching.